so, uh, what else did she say? Well, she told me to stay out of her life and leave them both alone. That was the gist of it. Sounds like a nice little chat. What other explanation can there be, Eileen? Don't wade in. Even if I wanted to, what would I say? Is Jenna mine? Hmm. You make life sound so easy. Mm -hmm, when it isn't my problem. You know, we might be way off the mark here. She might genuinely want nothing to do with you for no other reason that, well... Exactly. What? I mean, I'm not a bad-looking bloke. I'm single, she's single. Widowed. Sometimes when you take your shoes off on the switch, they stink. Do you think that could be it? <laughs> Eileen. Right, well, has her daughter got your nose? I wasn't looking. Does she have your smile, your dry wit? Look, all I'm saying is that, like, 30 years ago, I slept with Mandy behind Johnny's back. Then I bump into her, all these years later, everything's going great guns until I meet the daughter. Then she wants to know exactly what I said to her and orders me to stay away. This is more than a hunch, Eileen. Can you manage with all that? Well, I've not got all day, so a few trips to bow. I've got to appreciate it. Yeah, well, you've landed on your fee, haven't you? How much are you charging you? About the same as you, but, you know, it's privacy, in it? So you two gonna be all right? I've got to go in a minute. Hey, where are you skiving off to? Nowhere special. Sydney, she feed all right. She didn't stop, did you? Little greedy guts. Just like a daddy. Oh, I'm just off into town to get some more bibs here as well in the wash. Lend her one of mine. <laughs> hey, oh, what's the crack? Well, I'm finally getting rid of him, aren't I? What? We're moving. Where? It's around the corner. With what? Is that any of your business? It is when you owe us a king's ransom. You were 20 quid down yesterday. Right, come on. Not got time for you women yapping. No, no have I. Oh, what's that? This. This is confirmation of our, sorry, your entry into the Lancashire Leisure Pub of the Year competition. Oh. Yeah, oh, indeed. Landlady, Gloria Price. I just thought it would make life easier for them, you know, in terms of correspondence. Oh, right, how so? Well... Yeah. So, is romance on the cards? Don't even know if he likes me yet, do I? Oh, he likes you. How do you know? I can tell. Bit of chatting going on, is the ladies? Uh, no, no, Mr Donovan. Uh, I was just asking the girls' advice. Uh, my foot pedal keeps sticking. All sorted now? Consider it unstuck. Most of life's difficulties come down to footwork, Beth. How oh, is that right? Mm, whether you're a light heavyweight or a machinist on the factory floor, get the footwork right, the rest follows. Ooh. Boss! Kirk. Oh. Is that the last of it, then? Yeah, the rest of it was glued down. There's nothing they can break, and there's no point in duplicating a toaster. So, a few clothes, knick-knacks, CDs, a couple of car manuals. Amazing how little I've got, really. <laughs> 37 years old, and that's all there is. 37, yeah, and the rest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they'll be going in soon. Yeah, they'll be all right this time. Oh, I hope so, the poor things. Hey, never mind about them. I've just officially moved in. How shall we celebrate? Um, I'll wash, you dry. <laughs> No one want chewing gum? Oh, yeah, Tommy Master, dry. Uh, the Perry can't be chewing gum in there. Why not? Well, it's disrespectful, isn't it? See, I never understood that. Sipping tea isn't seen as disrespectful, so why is chewing gum such a crime? We'll take it out before we go in. Yeah. If you'd like to come through. <laughs> We're busy. Do you want a hand? No, I just thought I'd keep you in the loop. I was having my break. Lowly barmaid like me having to pick up the slack. All right, all right. Phone them and tell them who's the boss, so we don't get any comeback. You just want the glory if we win. Uh, I am the landlady. You're the one that lied. They probably just disqualify us now. Us. This is progress. Then, uh, after talking to you, we decided that she was too young. And Joseph, Katie's baby, ain't even won yet. She's still up for it, but still it seemed a bit cruel. Hence Tina. Hence Tina. What I suggest we do is this. I'll talk you all through the next stage of the process, 
and then I'll have a quick chat with Tina on her own. Does that sound okay? Yeah, fine by me. Yeah? Rock and roll. Gary, sounds like a dad already. <laughs> that is no bad thing. Now, don't feel daunted and ask as many questions as you like. I'll go through all the medical implications of what you're about to go through, Tina. And then we'll talk about all the legal implications of the entire process. Contracts and responsibilities and what would fall to whom and so on. Great. Listen, I've been thinking. They've been married a few years. It started out in May. The reason I know is because we watched the FA Cup final run at Johnny's house and I'd slept with Mandy for the first time the night mm. before. The back door was open, a squirrel came in. It's the only time I've ever known that happened. So, what was the year? 1983. Summer, summer of 1983. And how old would the doorstraps be? Pen and paper. Pen and paper. Yeah. 2012, take away 1983 equals... No, hang on a minute. No, no, you hang on. 1982 was 30 years ago, right? So that's 30 minus 1. Ah, oh, but we're not taking into account the nine months it would have taken her to be born. So 1983 yeah. plus nine months... Makes it roughly spring 1984. Anywhere between, say, March and June 1984, and there's a chance. So how old would that make her? 28. And how old did she look? Take a guess. And you're in a relationship at the moment? I am, yeah. I have been for a while. He was going to come today, but we're in the middle of moving flats. So what does he think about all this? Uh, well, he wasn't doing cartwheels when he first found out, if I'm honest. But he's fine with it now. He's changed his mind? He, he's got used to the idea. He knows he's not going to be forever and he's happy that we're helping friends out. You won't be pregnant forever, but you could have lifelong contact with the child. Right. That's fine. Childbirth isn't easy, of course. Mm. It's all good. Especially first time around. Yeah, well, I'm healthy, though. So, how would you feel about going through it for the first time and then having to hand the baby straight over to your friends? Well, I'd, I'd try not to think of it like that because it won't be mine, will it? It'd be Izzy's. Like, it's their genes and their DNA. Tommy calls me an aircraft carrier. HMS McIntyre. <laughs> Some men have such a way we work. <laughs> yeah, well, he's sensitive like that. <laughs> and Izzy and Gary, they're your neighbours, is yeah, that right? Yeah, yeah. Well, um, no, we live quite close by. Izzy comes into the pub where I work and I do a bit of work for a dad now and again. I get on with the family, I've known them for a while. And how do you imagine the relationship to the baby will be when they're out and about? When you pop in for coffee? When it's talking? Calling Izzy mummy, becoming a little human being. Well, um, I'll coo it, I, I suppose. Is, is that the word? I'll just be like any other friend of theirs. It might be difficult not to experience some attachment, especially when your body's demonstrating all the signs of motherhood hormonally, physically, emotionally. Right. Believe me, Tina, I, I'm not trying to scare you or, or put you off Oh, no, no, it's helpful what you're saying. But it is what it is, isn't it? I'm just trying to do a good thing. Oh, you're doing a very good thing. A brave and selfless thing. Just want to help. Would you like to have children of your own one day? Um, I just feel like there's things that I want to do first. Like when I see girls my age walking down the road pushing prams. I just... I just think there's time, you know? Um, I was just wondering if your mum was in. Oh, you're keen, aren't you? No, it's not like that. I'm joking. She's just nipped to the shop. Come in and wait, if you like. Uh, well, what shop's she gone to? Just the one down the road. She'll only be ten minutes. Do you know, perhaps I'll come back later. I've just put the kettle on. 
You all right? I just I, I don't want to put you out. Oh, then come in. He wasn't wild about the idea initially, um, but he came round to the idea fairly quickly. And what did she say? Um, well, she said it was common. She didn't look worried. Good. Well, it's understandable, isn't it? Whose boyfriend would think it was a brilliant idea? Yeah, but he'll, he'll benefit from it in the long run, won't he, when he has his desk paid? Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, he knows that. He's completely on board now. Yeah, because, I mean, let's be honest, you know, he'll bear the brunt of it. I was such a moody cow when I was having him. <laughs> They'll be fine. Of course they will. Yeah, I know, so can you just... Well, I'm sorry, Gary. We're going to tiptoe around the subject. I'm only being straight with her. I think Tina deserves that. We've had one false start already. Let's not dress this up. Look, it's fine, honestly. I know it's going to be a bit of a nightmare. Big fat pig giving him grief all day. <laughs> Big fat pig as if. I wouldn't mind if I was. <laughs> yeah, I'd like think they're going to airlift you anywhere, Tina. <laughs> anyway, baby weight is not like normal weight. So what else did you say? Was there anything... Like what? I don't know, like, do you think she heard alarm bells, or...? I think we need to relax, OK? I'm in. We're all on track. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> it's exciting, isn't it? I feel like you're going to be an honorary member of our family for nine months, <laughs> one of us. <laughs> She's got her own life, love. She won't want us breathing down her neck. I'll be OK. <laughs> Can I just say that... Mum! Me and Gary were really grateful. Right, stop it now. We all are. Right, well, um, I better go. See how Tommy's getting on with the move. But you're glad you swerved that, eh? <laughs> well, Jason did it. <laughs> but yeah, gotta get used to taking it easy, Anna. Tommy, pass me the TV guide. Tommy, <laughs> jump through this hoop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, there's gotta be an upside, aren't there? <laughs> yeah, it's 15,000 quid's worth. Right, well, uh, thanks for the tea. See you later. Thank you, Tina. Right, seriously, stop with all gratitude, right? Aww. See you later. See you, right, Tina. See ya. See ya. How do you know my mum? Uh, the old days. <laughs> the old days. How do you know my mum? The old days. <laughs> I was really good friends with both your parents when we were young, younger. <laughs> well, you know, I, I best just go. Oh, just have a seat. She won't be long, I promise. Just ask him out. I'm too shy. You shy? I met him on holiday, so different rules applied. What was he like in the bedroom? Well, he was useless at making the bed, if I remember rightly. Oh, they all are. Yeah. Oh, and he likes to watch telly till quite late. And he laughs in his sleep. Laughs? Yeah, 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 like he's at the <laughs> Apollo. Julie, what about your memories? Oh, he was a big liar in her. Especially the weekend. My Brian's up at the crack of dawn. Waste not, want not, also applies to time, as he is very fond of saying. Can't you see what I'm getting at, girls? Oh, I don't feel very comfortable talking about this. I mean, I, I'm with Brian now. I feel unfaithful talking about former lovers. Kirky was a stepping stone. He's a very gentle soul. He'd be good to you. He's considerate and he's so kind. Mm, steady on now. You haven't still got the ox for him, have you? No. Oh, well, you could do worse, I suppose. I mean, he had a certain manly quality, a certain rugged charm. Oh, yeah. Hey, guess where this box is going to? Uh, we give up. Nuneaton. I said to Rob, imagine living in Nuneaton. You'd be starving. <laughs> <laughs> I should have stuck some food in it. <laughs> yeah, bet they've never heard that one in Nuneaton. <laughs> I know. See ya. See ya. Oh, yes. Three minutes till home time. Oh, I'm going to get straight in the bath. Right, listen. I'll ask him to meet me for a drink after work. I'll tell him I've got something I want to discuss with him. What if he thinks you want him back? He won't. Why not? Because I don't. Then, I won't show up. You can find him in the pub all alone and you can swoop. Swoop? Yeah. Like a hawk descending on a field mouse. <laughs> <laughs> you won't mind. You're not putting drawing pins in his wall. All right, are you sell the tape That's even worse. Oh, pull the wallpaper off. Anyway, I was a bit too old for posters. I mean, if it had a frame round it, it'd be all right. The frames cost a fortune, don't we? Yeah. You coming in for one? No. Got to grab a few cans, you know. Thank Jason. OK, well, uh, thanks for helping me to work. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I'll see you in bed. Yeah. <laughs> you weren't at the funeral, were you? 
No. Didn't you know? I bumped into your mum at a gig last week. Are you sure you're okay? Can I have a glass of water, please? Oh, yeah, of course. So what you do, Jenna? I'm a physiotherapist. My back's playing up. But whereabouts? I'm at a private practice, but I work at the General as well. Park at the General's a nightmare. And I rip off. I start cycling till my bike got nicked. Now I get the bus. Well, if you ever need the taxi, I, I gave you my card, didn't I? I I'm sorry. I, I don't know why she's taking this long. She only nipped out for some washing up liquid in a paper. Your dad was a diamond, you know. I hadn't seen him in like a thousand years, but um, got loads of good memories. Oh, tell me some. It was the only plus point of the funeral. People telling me nice things. Things I didn't know. We used to hang out a lot before you were born. So I'm trying to think, um, when did I lose touch with him? Well, I was born in 1984. Yeah, what, what month? April, 24th. Right, so... Uh... So come on. What did you get up to, you and my dad? What kind of mischief? <laughs> did he ever tell you the story about the squirrel? And my grandma's? The, the one that got in the house and he couldn't get it back out? Was that you? <laughs> yeah, that was me and your dad. <laughs> chasing a squirrel up and down his mum's stairs. Oh, nuts. <laughs> <laughs> it was the day, man, you played Brighton in the FA Cup final. Oh, he was always hurling abuse at squirrels. <laughs> there you go. That's the reason. I went out with your dad every Friday and Saturday night for years, man. Your mum too? Hmm. Gooseberry. Yeah, I guess it was a bit. You shouldn't have left it so late. Oh, I'm sorry. I suppose it must all seem quite recent to you if you've only just found out. Yeah. Oh, don't. Don't you get me going? You're such a good bloke. You shouldn't have left it so long. Life's too short. Tell me about it. Can I get you a tissue? Jenna. What? Are you, um... Are you happy? Hey. Well, I'm happy enough. Why? Can you believe it? Oh, oh, tissue is at last. Please. Beryl didn't have any washing up liquid. I wonder if she's going out of business. You remember Lloyd, don't you? From last week? Your long lost buddy? Do you know your problem? Yeah, you. You're too stubborn. You lack drive. <sighs> you talk about your beloved regulars. Where are they? At lunchtime was rammed in here. Pubs can't survive on sentiment. Times have changed. And what do you know about the state of the English pub? The well, best English pubs are in Spain. What are those horrible places you used to go in? They're not English pubs, they're theme pubs. Oh, yeah, and what is their theme? England, Sky TV, Plastic Pints and Fat Men with Pink Faces. <laughs> Wait till we bag that award. We'll see how clever you are then. Mm. On your head, be it. Right, my round. What's everybody having? No, I'll get this. No, no, I insist. No, I insist. Yeah, but I insisted first. Owen, let me. Gary, once somebody's insisted, that's it. That's what insisting is. Yeah, it's laying down the law. Fine, I'll get the next ones. I insist. Yeah. Hey, hey. Where's notches? Sorry. Good evening. Go <laughs> on, then. You can get him in. What's he been saying to you? We were just chatting. He was telling me about Dad. What about him? Lloyd was there when the squirrel got into Grandma's. Summer 1983. Will you please leave us now? Why? Because I don't want him here. Well, what's he done? He seems like a nice enough bloke. Jenna, can you just have a word with your mum I don't want to speak to you. We haven't seen each other in all these years for a reason. Well, what's the reason? So... Things couldn't have gone much better today, by the sound of it. <laughs> it's nice seeing a smile again. Yeah, best sight in the world. Fingers crossed, eh? Yeah. Fingers crossed. Hey, Kirky. Oh, hiya, Beth. Huh? Who's the thirsty boy? It's for Fizz. That's why he's gone down nicely on the eye. Yeah, it's getting there. Knight in shining armour. I'd love to order a suit of armour. How mean would that be? Yeah, I think you'd look good in it. With your shield and your lance. It'd make a racket clanging around, but I won't wear it all the time. Mm -hmm, just on special occasions. <laughs> or even in the bedroom. I don't think I could sleep in it. Oh, no. You'd have to take it off. 
Have you spoken to Fizz? Because she said she'd meet me and she's late. Oh, um, someone come up, she can't make it. Well, what am I going to do with that? Maybe I should join you. Why, do you want it? Yeah. It's all yours. That's not all I want. I want you, KK. Me? Really, really badly. What for? <laughs> it was a really nice meeting you, Jenna. Yeah, you too, Lloyd. Manny. Bye, Lloyd, and I'm sorry. What for? What for, Mum? What's the beef between you two? Is he no flame or something? <sighs> did you two have a flame? Oh, will you stop asking questions? Oh, will you stop telling lies? You did, didn't you? I smell history. Yes, we had a fling. All right. Now, will you both just leave me alone? Well, I'm Dad's back. Right. Sweet. So there I am, making you cups of tea, fetching you a glass of water. Oh, I'm sorry. We got through it. Well, did Dad know? Yes. Well, when was this exactly? Why are you two being so weird? A fling's a fling. I'm hardly delighted, but is that it? You asked me when I was born. Did he? I was curious. Why? I told you to stay away. Oh, come on, Manny. The date's all had up. Put us out of our misery. How dare you come here and say that? In front of my daughter! How dare you? If you had kids of your own, you'd understand. And have I? Mum! I am so sorry. And we'll be back in Coronation Street in half an hour. <laughs>